and welcome. Uh, we are going to be talking about Venn diagrams, uh, specifically dealing with just general sets A, B, and C, and trying to interpret different set operations and their visual representations. And these visual representations will help us understand relationships between two sets. So, um, for example, we're trying to see how the union of two specific sets is related to the union of those sets with another set. Um, and so we'll be able to better understand this relationship and really we'll have a, a visual proof, a Venn diagram proof, that this relationship holds. So th there's uh, multiple parts to this exercise, but really we're just going to be focusing on a couple of them in this video. And then we're going to go through and uh, try this example, do one of these to try to use a Venn diagram to determine how two sets are related to one another. So let's go ahead and get started with this exercise here, part A here. And if you notice, we're dealing with two sets on the left-hand side, so and three on the right-hand side. So we want the Venn diagram for each of these sets on the left-hand side and the right-hand side to be set up the same so that we can compare the Venn diagrams uh, efficiently. Because if we have set up our Venn diagrams and our placement of A, B, and C differently, um, then our results are going to be difficult to interpret. So we want to make sure um, to have them set up. And actually, I've already screenshotted some Venn diagrams here that you should have seen in, a, in an earlier video posted from YouTube. And, and the reason I like the setup of these is it's consistent with the placement of A, B, and C and um, these numbers, which aren't the greatest, but I like them because it's easier to identify each of the regions of the Venn diagram with, with three sets. And so instead of shading, um, because here, let me tell you, sometimes I'll get an answer like, like this. And so maybe it's clear to you, but I don't know for sure. Are you just trying to shade in region five? Or are you also trying to do two and one? Okay, so since those regions are clearly identified, what I want you to do with any Venn diagram that you do in this class, go ahead and tell me you know, label those regions or just use the Venn diagrams provided and tell me if you in, 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 intend to shade five, two, one, or all of those, um, and I'll show you that and when I create the Venn diagrams for these two uh, sets here and more. So, so we're focusing on part A now and I want to build a Venn diagram for A union B and also A union B union C. And so we need to put these on two separate diagrams to really compare and understand their relationship. So let's go ahead and use this Venn diagram here that's set up for us to try to shade and interpret where A union B would fall on this visual diagram. So remember, um, A union B, I'm just going to write the logical definition here. So we've got A and B obviously in the same universal set, uh, U sub R, and this is just saying for any element that I pick in that universal set, if it's a member, if, 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 if I'm saying A union B, that means X has to be in A or X has to be in B. So if you think about the OR operator, that's true um, when one or the other or both is true. The only time it's false is if it's false in both pieces. So in this case, that would mean it's not an element of A and it's not an element of B. So A union B union, I just think really similarly uh, in the way that I think about OR. Okay, one or either or both, but at least in one, at least one. Okay, and so if I'm trying to shade this relationship, and when I say union, I think about uniting two sets together. So, um, so what I'm doing is I'm going to take, I'm going to take all of A. So I'm just going to shade this, and then um, make sure I'm noting those numbers, and I'll note them here. So A, there's A, and but I also want to take everything in B. So I'm going to shade in B. Okay, and then. Uh, just as a note, I'm going to go ahead and write down what regions are represented by that set. So A union B is in regions, and then go ahead and list them. So it looks like I've got region 3, 4, um, 5, well, 
probably helps to go sequ sequentially here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So yeah, it looks like the only pieces that I didn't shave for that or shade for that union is seven and eight. Seven and eight. So A union B, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So now let's let's do our other set, right? Because we we're trying to compare A union B and A union B union C. So let's go ahead and and do our other set here. I'll do it in a different color so we can compare. So I'm going to do it in green. So I'll do. Now I want to think about A union B union C. And just to pull it uh, together with the notation and operators we've been dealing with before this set stuff, let's go ahead and write this logically. So this means for all elements in our universal set, X is in A or X is in B or X is in C. So it has to be in at least one A, B, or C, or it could be in all or two of them, right? So if I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking about uniting these sets. So I'm going to take everything in B, or everything in A, excuse me, everything in B, and everything in C. So notice the only part that didn't get shaded was 8. So I'm going to say A union B union C. Uh, uh, shade regions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Now let's think about this subset operator, the subset relation here. Um, if one set is a subset of another one, it, it should be contained entirely or equal to um, the the set on the right, okay, depending on your operator, make sure it's this way, but um, so I think you can see visually if we look at A union B, it's contained entirely within A union B union C. If, um, maybe if we said here, try this one and, and post about it, if we looked at A union B union C complement, this would not be a subset of A union B union C, okay? But since everything that is shaded here is also shaded here, then I know that it's true that there's this relationship, okay? If there was an area outside of this green shaded, then I would know that there's not a, it's not a subset, um, A union B, wouldn't, um, but, but since everything is shaded in A union B is also shaded here, I know that the subset relationship exists. And just as a reminder, um, let's see, if if A union B is a subset of A union B union C, this implies that um, for all elements in our universal set, if X is in A union B, then X is in um, A union B union C. Okay. And these are logically equivalent. I could just put if and only if there. Okay. So if you like the logical interpretation of those set operations and relationships, um, that's helpful to some people. Or um, if you want to bring it down just to a level of um, being contained, kind of like less than, you know, um, if x is less than or equal to 1, um, you can kind of think about it like that uh, a little bit. But blah, that's kind of a weird side note. Um, okay, so so hopefully this one makes sense. If it doesn't, if there's somewhere that it wasn't confusing, you know, let me know. But let's try another one here. Maybe let's try B, um, and we'll see the difference with intersection here. So let's think about B. So we've got again uh, three basic sets that we're building new sets from, right? Because these operators are just allowing us to build new sets. So we start with A, B, and C, and then we're building a new set that's represented with these operations. So so we're going to be building two Venn diagrams. We're going to be building a Venn diagram for A intersect B intersect C. And then we're also going to be uh, building a Venn diagram for A intersect 
B. And I'm trying to show with these Venn diagrams a visual proof that A intersect B intersect C is a subset of A intersect B. And I think you can maybe convince yourself or try to take a moment and convince yourself that this must be true. Think about if we intersect A and B with another set, it's a stronger restriction here. So we suspect that our region shaded would decrease from A intersect B to C because we're refining the area that we're restricted to because we're intersecting with C too. Um, but let's let's think about A intersect B intersect C and let me take this one a little bit slower than I did in the last one just so that you can see what's going on a little bit more carefully. So a lot of times when you've got different operators that are difficult to interpret what's a good idea is to break it down just like you did with truth tables. So break it down piece by piece and build up to that final answer. So in this case I'm gonna just go ahead and shade A with a color B with another color and C with a third color. So I'm going to use three different colors to try to represent this set and interpret what the intersection is. So I'm going to go ahead and color A with um, red. So I know that A is covered in 5, 4, 1, and 2. And then I'm going to shade, um, I'll shade B in green or something. Or maybe gray. B with gray. So B uh, I'll shade with gray. So I've got one, two, three, and six for B. Um, and then with C, I'll do in this green color, I'll have seven, region seven, region four, region one, region three. Okay. And now this operation is telling me that all three of these sets have to be in, in occurring at all times um, to be included in this final set here, A intersect B intersect C. So if you can see, there's only one spot where all three colors are happening, okay? If you can't see that, let's go ahead and list the regions that are labeled in each. So we said for A, I had five, four, and uh, region one and two. For B, I had regions one, two, three and six for region or for set C I shaded in seven four one three so if we're trying to intersect these three sets then we only want the portions that all three have in common so if you notice there the only region that occurs in all three sets so I've got one here here and here and that's it right uh, five doesn't appear anywhere else four appears in C but not in B and two appears in B but not in C so um, so one is the only region that is covered by all of them so if I want to interpret A intersect B intersect C with a region or some shading here so a visual representation I would just shade this middle region here the one so um, A intersect B intersect C is represented by region 1. Okay, now let's think about the other side, the other Venn diagram we are going to draw. We're going to draw a Venn diagram for A intersect B. And actually we kind of already did that and we did a lot of the thinking already, but let's go ahead and, and work through it just so that we can see. We're trying to talk about A intersect B. So just like in my last example, I'm going to go ahead and shade A and B in two different colors just so that I can see what's going on. So I'm going to shade A, I got region 1, 2, 4, and 5. I'm going to shade region B. I'll get regions 1, 2, 3, and 6, okay? So if I focus in on A and B here, up here with my regions that I've labeled, I can see that my only overlapping uh, um, sets here are 1 and 2, okay? And that's what we can see visually here, right? The only place where I have green and black going on are these regions 1 and 2. So if I'm trying to represent A intersect B uh, visually, I'm going to only shade where both B and A are occurring, okay? So A and B have to be occurring versus a union B where it can be A or B or both, right? So. Um, make sure you understand that distinction. And then one more time, just to be clear, let's go ahead and write the logical representation of this set operation. So A intersect B, in this case, we've got all elements in our universal set 
um, then x must be an a and, right, so we've got a stronger condition here, and x must be in b. So, so notice how our intersection is shrunk down in a smaller region than our union, okay? Um, so now we can go ahead and compare, right? We've got a intersect b intersect c here with region 1, and then a intersect b is represented by two regions, is represented by regions 1 and 2. So what we are trying to show, so take a moment, right? Pretend like you don't know what we are trying to show. How are these two sets related? Is A intersect B intersect C a subset of A intersect B? Or is A intersect B a subset of A intersect B intersect C? So I'm going to have you do a quiz on this quick, and then we'll come back and do a couple more examples. So talk soon.